Hey guys, Mike Money Game here, and I'm back with more Legend of Gaia. Uh, since last time we um, went uh, searching around this area, we're going to continue on and hopefully get to where the uh, survival knife is, which is in the. Okay, we want to go to where the diary is. It's in the left room. Ugh, almost made it. Oh good, two Gimards. Let's spear it up just because of his tail fire there. So that we don't take that much damage. Good call. Let's see, what should we beat their ass with? Um, I seem to have lost some of my papers. Oh well, that's fine. Oh, here they are. I find him right when I don't need him anymore. I'm making sure I've learned all the attacks. You want all of the attacks that you have at your arsenal, so. Ah, spirit up again. Because we're only down to 99 health, and I don't want to use that. I can't wait till we're a high enough level that we don't have to worry about spiriting anymore, but for um, Vaughn, aka Mike, it takes a long time. Okay, so we want to read the diary again just for fun. Just so I can say that I read it to her, <laughs> you know, read it so that she shuts up. The Harvest Festival isn't far, I can't wait, but King Drake seems uneasy. The message from the north said the mist has covered Jeremy, Jeremy, I mean. A strange building has been built in the valley to the northeast. Yep. I'll let you guys read this if you want to reread it again. Alright. It's almost done. <coughs> I love that though. I can't believe the king's order. Okay, so let's return the diary and get our much deserved weapon. Cook that bad boy. Right. Okay, and since I'm a wuss, I'm gonna go ahead and use my door of light. I mean, I probably could have ran out and survived, but that would require me to use a healing leaf. And since I'm trying to ration those, I'm gonna go ahead and leave and head back to Real Realm and buy some items. We should survive the uh, trek back because we have the uh, checkpoint for one thing I like to call it. And we have enemies that hardly do any damage at all. So we should be just fine. Well, except for this bastard right here, but we should be fine all the same. Correct, it still only lasts until the uh, ending of the battle, so we should be fine. I just can't believe it takes two attack cycles to kill that thing. Okay, as you can't, if you can't tell, I think their animation changes whenever they're hurt, so that's a cool little thing. There we go. Sorry, I was quiet because I was kind of worried that I'm going to get into another fight and die, so. 
That's understandable, right? Okay. Yes, I do wish to drink this water. Thank you. <coughs> Alright, let's head back to Rail now. Let's kill this thing with this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're almost there. Soon we won't have to walk around like this anymore, but that's not for a while. It'd be nice not to have to walk to place to place now, wouldn't it? But sometimes it's necessary. <clears throat> oh, what would I like? Well... Yeah, see, now you can buy door lights for 200. Um, that can be a good idea, I guess. But, um... It's only necessary if you really feel like you're in danger, which you shouldn't be in danger now. Oh, that's another thing you can grind up to 800 coal for if you want. A uh, cure amulet. Amulet. I mean, I mean, in the era that we're in, it's not that important. So we're not going to fight any more enemies within the era that we're in that gives you poison yet. I think in the second era that we will be at, though, it will be important, but if you ask me, it's just better to leave it there for now. Okay, so I want to show off something I didn't show off before. Um, <clears throat> our attack now is 61. That's with the help of the uh, survival knife and the uh, warrior boots. So that's a good thing. Um, our upper defense is 41, our lower defense is 40. Our speed is 37, our intelligence is 26, and our agility is 113. I forget what how agility works in this game. I'd have to like look it up. And I don't know if I had the pages for that anymore in this book, so. I told you the book's kinda of falling apart. It works in the way of like, you know, dodging in some games, you know, how like you can dodge an enemy if you have enough agility. Then maybe it would be like your blocking stat? I don't know. Okay, now that we've, um. <coughs> filled up our items, um. checked our status, and, um. all in all, just pumped ourselves up. Yeah, we should yeah, be ready to things and get back to the, uh. castle and fight our way through it. Now, basically, what I'm going to be doing to get through the rest of the castle is I'm probably going to be ignoring anything that's not important. Like, um... For example, like the room that has the book with uh, the geography of, um... Dread Kingdom, for example, I read in the, uh... First, uh, like, what was it, like the second or third episode of this? I won't re-show that off because, I mean, it's basically just something to waste time and get yourself killed faster, so I'm not going to do that. <coughs> I really wish this book would tell you about what it suggests. But it doesn't suggest what level you should be. Anyway. How, how badly hurt are we? Okay, we haven't gotten hurt yet, so we want to keep going. Ah, uh, for this fight, we will use spirit. That's that way we know we can uh, kill it one shot there. 
going to take a little less damage. I don't know, I guess it doesn't work that well against, um, melee attacks. I mean, part of me hopes that it does. Oh, I don't seem to be cutting off that much damage. Oh yeah, and that evil fly or whatever the heck it's called, I don't think it can block attacks, so you got that going for you. That's why it has so much more health than I think than everything else. So we got that. Okay, we're almost there, but we're probably gonna get to a fight. Yep. You know, I'm so glad I don't do post commentary anymore. Unless it's absolutely necessary because I would always be like forgetting what I was doing. Yeah, like, so we're probably gonna get a fight here and then nothing will happen. I'll be like, well, that was stupid. <laughs> kind of like how I did my, uh, I cannot believe I mentioned this, but my Mega Man LP, I did a uh, post commentary on that. And you saw the back up. I still stuck it. And there, and that brings up a question I was gonna ask, but I didn't think it was really gonna get any good positive feedback. And I was wondering if I ever did continue that LP again, if you guys would, like, want me to or not. Because, I mean, you saw how much I sucked at the game, for one thing. <coughs> so, I don't know. Okay, before we continue on, let's see how we're doing. Okay, we got basically full life. Our magic's at full, so we should be fine. So what we want to do is we just want to start heading up to that door that we opened before as fast as we can. So get through the door, run up here, get through this door. Okay, hold on, stop for a moment. This should be to what floor? This is the room with what? This is the room with the survival knife, isn't it? I probably should have gotten a key before I used the door of life, but that's fine. Now, uh, we're gonna speak. It does look like we're really close, though, to getting that, um... Good idea. But it's a good idea, uh... <coughs> excuse me. It's getting, um... Uh, it's gonna be a good thing that we actually went back. <coughs> because, uh, we saw how far we got without getting into a fight, so we should be fine. And then also getting close to actually getting our uh, AP bar. Uh, see, as you can see down there, how it's just barely away from getting enough points. So yeah, we should be uh, building it up after this. We'll have to level up the next time. I think that it's always the same on like what level it is that it goes up. I think it's like six or seven that it goes up. I could tell you what the recommended level is at the end of this area, but yeah, let's open the star key door for a second. I want to see something. So there's an item I want. Okay, so it's in the. It's not going to be in the safety room, that I like to call it. Do we need any healing or anything? No. Alright. I can get there. Dang it! There's a room that I'm heading to that's going to give us a cutscene, but it's also a save room type thing, you know. And if we make it there, you're golden. I mean, after that, you're fine. You have no reason to leave after you make it to that room, because you're guaranteed to live after that, if you ask me. So basically, what you want to do is you want to get to where the survival knife is, get the key in the next room if you still have enough health, Use the door of light, head back to the Hunter Spring, heal up, <coughs> um, get the, um, get some more healing leaves if you need them, 
And then after that, make sure you have all the equipment that I have. And you should be fine. I'm so glad he didn't block, because then he would have stayed alive a bit. I also just love how they, like, melt into the ground. That's just really awesome. And we leveled up, which is even more awesome. <laughs> Anyway. So let's get to that room. Lickety split. Alright, when you when you walk in here, Meta talks to you and she's like, Mike, the door to this room is quite strong. If you shut the door tightly, you should be able to rest peacefully in here. You want to do that. So when she says, do you want to rest, say yes. A wise decision. While you are sleeping, I will stand guard. This is kind of cool. You get this little cutscene. Mike, I apologize for interrupting your dream. What was I dreaming about anyway? <laughs> there is something I must tell you about the Suru and my powers. That's right, the Suru. They are horrible creatures. But the Suru themselves are not at fault. The Mist is responsible for all this, which we explain, which we found out for in the beginning when it said that the Mist touched it. I have special powers to use against the Suru. I can assimilate with the Suru that the Mist has made mad. The special powers of the Suru will combine with my own, making me a powerful weapon. I've already absorbed the abilities of Gilmore. Now, you wouldn't get this cutscene if you haven't done that. I think um, she would have said something different, which I'm only assuming Meta is a girl. I don't really think she... I don't know if it is or not. But anyway, the Fire Suru you have fought. It is not always possible to absorb the abilities of Suru by fighting it. Nevertheless, let's try to fight as many Suru as we can and hope we absorb their powers. Now, I'm... Now, there is lots and lots of sewer monsters that we can get powers from, but I'm not going to be able to show off all of them. Because that's really tough to get every single sewer power in the game. Especially since some of them are bosses. You can use the sewer abilities by expending MP. When to use it is up to you, just remember that MP is limited. Mike took a nap. HP and MP are completely recovered. Mike, you look so much better now. Now, here's something interesting. You can come back to this room as many times as you want, I believe, and use it to rest. And here's our fire book one, which is really important that you get this. <coughs> Excuse me. On the bookshelf is, bookshelf is a book titled Research Notes. Do you wish to read it? Yes, sure. The reports were correct, as I feared. Any human wearing a sewer ceases to be human in the mist. But because of some power, a person possessed by a crazy sewer also ceases to age. That's interesting, isn't it? That means a person wearing a sewer could live for a hundred, a thousand years, nay, forever! But is immortality worth giving up being human? That I do not know. I must report this to King Drake at once. So basically, you'll be able to live forever in the mist as a sewer monster. But you wouldn't really be able to enjoy life, so... Like he says, is it really worth it? I mean, I'm pretty sure anybody you would ask would say no, so... Yeah. There's that. <laughs> so basically, now that we've come to this room, healed up and all that, we're now able to reach the end of this area, and no problem at all. But that's not the, you know, true end. I can't believe we just leave that door open, but it, like you said, it should be fine. There's King Drake in there, by the way. A letter in the treasure chest says, To the human traveler that finds this, do you wish to read it? Yes. I am Drake Three, King of Drake. I know not who will read this letter, but anyone who makes it through the mist must have powers greater than the mist. No doubt you have seen the sewer monsters in the castle's dungeons. Those monsters are in fact my dear retainers and the people of my kingdom. When the mist approached, we tried many ways to drive it back. We even prayed to the genus tree that might recur to the north. Legend says the tree has the power to save the human race. In the end, we decided to lock ourselves in the dungeon of our sewer, surrendering to the mist. As sewer monsters, we should survive on Drake water until the day the mist goes away. We locked ourselves in the dungeon so the sewer monster's madness would not force us to harm anyone. So, travel asked you to drive away the mist as we were powerless to do so. You're our only hope for the future, the hope that sustains us. It's kind of funny that they could survive just with the, uh, you know, water. If you go up to the door, I think he'll talk to you. From his clothes, the Sura seems to have been one of the royal family. I have a feeling the Sura is King Drake. Look, there's a small key around its neck. That must be the key to the water gate. 
And yeah, if you go over there and look at that Watergate thing, it says the Watergate's not in there. And there's a reason for that. The case says, contain the mountain key. Do you wish to open it? Yes. The mountain key's in the case. You know the mountain key. And the reason why you can't get the water key at this time is, um, you'd be tempted just to move on and you wouldn't want to do that. So. <clears throat> the faster we get out of this uh, area, the better, though, if you ask me. I'm gonna take a chance and not use spirit. Holy crap, it killed him. That's good stuff. I will use spirit on this guy. Because he takes so much damage to die. It was funny, I was watching, um, I'm gonna just go ahead and mention this, I was watching somebody else's video and they were talking about, um, how long a video should be, and he said that, um, the videos that he likes to watch are like 15 minutes to like, you know, 20 minutes in length. Um, the funny thing about that is to me, I like watching, uh, 20 to like 30 minute videos and that's the max that I usually watch. Now before we continue on, I forgot to do this. You want to use your fire book one. So you learn tornado flame, which is a hyper art. And I'll show you what that does in a minute. It makes the enemies out here a joke, to say the least. If I even get to show off any of these, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna show it off against that evil fly over there. So basically, Tornado Flame is an automatic art that's shown to you once you get the book. You cannot use it otherwise. If you try to put in this attack right here before having the book, it won't work. And just look at that. That will be a really... I'm sorry about that, guys. That'll be a really important attack later on. I mean, right now, these enemies you shouldn't have wasted on. Especially this guy right here. But, like, enemies like the evil fly and stuff that are, like, pretty tough, you know, you want to use it on them. Especially since it uses no magic at all. The only thing you use up is your uh, AP. So, basically, you now have, like, a fire attack that's magic free. I sense the presence of a Rasuo like me. Let's hurry to the top of the mountain. Our friends. Our friends must be there. Our friends. But I don't have any other friends except for the people at Real Mountain. What are you talking about? Oh, and we get this cool little cutscene transition thing. And we are going to meet someone important. That's right, our new ally is a girl. And you can call her Noah if you want. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, <sighs> yeah, I'm going to leave her as Noah, just because I can't think of any names. I think that is how you say it. I'm going to call her Noah. Noah, Noah, where are you? Your mother needs you. She always has these nightmares. Noah, it's so dark here. Noah! Noah, I want to see you. I need you, Noah. Oh, someone's home. Wake up, Noah. You can't sleep forever. It's time to get up. Noah, you look like you were having a bad dream. Uh, yeah, I'll say yeah. Yes, well, you should always remember your dreams, no matter how painful. Dreams tell you about the future. 
Alright then, time for practice. Come with me. Practice? Let's use the save point first. Now I have a reason to uh, cut this one here, and then we'll continue on with uh, Noah's little uh, scenario here. Alright, so as you can see, Noah has 150 HP, 10 MP, but that won't be important for a while, because if, if you look at her magic, she has no magic. But, um, she has no equipment either. <laughs> Alright, well, I will see you guys in the next episode. Till then, bye.